Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. This is how the volcano looks today. Actually we have two volcanoes erupting at the same time. I did the, my first drone flight to this new volcano which started on May 29th. As you know it started from a fissure eruption which was 3.5 kilometers long. But now uh, four days later we have only two cones erupting and this is the bigger one which is very reminiscent of a little router con back in 2023 one week after it started very similar in shape and the way out the way lava flows out of the crater is also similar this is uh, the start of the flight uh, i was taken off from northern lights in hotel uh, and it took some time to reach it. Uh, it was rather easy to to reach the volcano because I was gone with the wind, but I had a hard time to return because today we had rather strong winds, and I don't think I would do it again with such a wind because uh, the drone had been really struggling to to come back against the wind. It looks like that this eruption will take some time before it uh, goes off. Uh, at least uh, we need to wait until the other cone goes off and I believe that the bigger one will keep going for some days, weeks, perhaps even months like uh, it was back in May when it stopped on the 9th of May, 53 days it lasted so we might see something similar now. This is how the road to Grindavik looks. As you know, it had been overrun by the lava on the first day of the eruption on uh, May 29th. And so far they didn't restore the road. Uh, there is no hot lava going there. Most of the lava is spilling here, close to the crater. Lava from the bigger crater is moving to the west, towards Silinga Fatl, and in that area you will see it in the video. And the lava from a small cone, which is a double cone, is moving to the east in the opposite direction. It's kind of harmonic spreading of lava. Two twin craters being in agreement with each other, shooting the lava in the opposite directions. What is beautiful to observe, of course, you can see that there is also order and agreement in nature, even when it comes to the volcanoes. It's also possible to observe uh, lava shooting above the craters from Blue Lagoon. People who are bathing in the Blue Lagoon, they can see lava shooting above the walls of the craters pattering over from a great distance, from 5 kilometers. It's also visible from Kaplavik Highway. We also have vegetation fires, as you see, which generate a lot of smoke in addition to the volcanic uh, gases being emitted uh, from the craters great part of the smoke is from the burning of moss uh, around Hagafat, as you see and there are no uh, fire teams working to, to put them down now you see the lava river coming from the crater And it's going to the north uh, west of the crater. Now let's zoom in. You see, it's exiting the crater in very similar fashion as back in 2023, Little Router did. Very similar. Though the crater that it was more extended, here it's kind of more of a round shape. Lava is exiting the crater through on ground lava river via two passages, as you see. It looks like a vein. And the other crater is a double one, similar to Meradalir, uh, during the last days of its eruption back in 2022, we had very similar type of crater there but there is less lava 
produce it from that crater and it's very likely that it will go off earlier than the bigger one and the, here you see the first shoe and how lava is moving behind ceiling of fat so as you see there is an inflow of hot lava in this area towards ceiling of fat um, in the direction of uh, blue lagoon basically and some hot lava pools are even visible right next to ceiling of fat for now, of course, it's very unlikely there will come enough lava to to break through the walls. But if volcano keeps erupting for uh, many, many weeks, there is a danger of uh, lava going over the route in that section right behind the ceiling of Atl, where uh, it came close to, to the Blue Lagoon Road by a few meters and it stopped it. But there is hot lava going behind the mountain, as you see, in that direction. So that flow might, might advance. So my suggestion to, to the authorities to build a wall right next to Blue Lagoon Road, just to raise a wall there, just to block the lava from going on the road, which is used by tourists to reach Blue Lagoon. I drove it today with a group of 12. I checked the earthquakes and there are no earthquakes in the area at all. There hadn't been not a single earthquake, not even magnitude uh, 0 0.1 uh, around the lagoon or around the volcanoes. So it's just a fuse of lava flow that we have. And there are no explosions or explosive activity as we had seen on the first day of the eruption when lava interacted with the ground water nothing like that seen again i wish to remind you that the eruption site is closed you can hike the, to the volcano the city of grindavik had also been evacuated as you know it's only blue lagoon that had been open and you really need a reservation to 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 enter it or you can book a stay at uh, Silica Hotel or Northern Lights Inn if you wish to see the volcano from a hotel, balcony or Blue Lagoon. All the wind is coming straight from the north today and we have a powerful storm in the east of Iceland, not really in the volcano area, though the wind had been thrown also here, but the volcanic gases are carried straight to the ocean and there is no danger for Reykjavik or neighboring communities. I wish you all the best, be well, and God bless.